Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's day 69 of this Growing Lemon Trees from Seed Series. It has four nice leaves that are greener, although they're not a verdant, complete green like the passion fruit vine leaves were um, in the middle and later on in the series. They're still pretty green. They sort of have a yellowish tint, just a little bit. I know some of that's due to the reflection from the color of the pot itself off the rim and this seedlings close proximity to that but I can still detect a little bit of yellow which is fine this plant has been healthy so far it's been a bright spot you can see all those fungus gnats burrowing in and out um, spraying uh, pyrethrin analog pesticides hasn't really done um, much to get rid of that problem although I haven't seen any gnats inside my apartment lately so I think it's kept their numbers under control so these pyrethrin based insecticides that have been spraying twice uh, a month well that's just for the last month those uh, decay very quickly they have a half-life of five days I think so I'm looking through this and I'm um, shoring up the potting mix on the stem to cover up the green parts that are still exposed it should have never been green in the first place but due to exposure to sunlight they uh, and the positioning of the seed after it germinated you know that stuff got exposed I thought it would help with photosynthesis in the beginning but now compared to the four uh, true leaves they're a very minor contributor, so why not just bury that stuff and be done with it, preserve moisture for the root system, and so forth. So I'm sprinkling on, squirting on a light bit of dissolved fertilizer. I'm going to water sparingly like I have done every other day for this entire series, almost. So that's all you need to do, and if nothing's broken, I won't fix it. So it's day 81. A fifth leaf is on the way. Seems like they grow sort of like uh, x-axis, y-axis. Uh, I don't know if it's going to rotate, but the fourth leaf is the biggest now. As with most seedlings, at some point the genetic programming determines that the leaves have to start getting big to match the adult size leaves. And this is from a backlit angle. I'm rotating this entire pot on a lazy Susan. So you can see this micro blister appearance that I've been talking about uh, since my navel worn seedling days that didn't succeed but this has and you can see the edges look ruffled because of it and it looks like there's all these little bubbles or blisters inside the leaves themselves. So if any of you know why that is or if that's normal or abnormal or due to some kind of citrus disease please let me know in the comments. I haven't been able to explain that and with a small sample size this year and last year of just one I can't really tell if that's something commonplace or just some kind of inherited citrus disease or whatnot or is it actually supposed to be a phenotype of this plant so I'm continuing my very light fertilization and watering regimen and soon we should have a bigger fourth leaf and fifth leaf hopefully that's even bigger and so on and so on it seems like the leaves pop out in a cross pattern although they don't develop symmetrically in pairs compared to most other plants I expected it to be bigger after 81 days but it's healthy which is the main thing that counts thank you for watching and please stay tuned to all my plant growing series on my youtube channel thank you